Are you coming to Bonaire to shore dive? Do you plan on diving tailor-made? Would you like some tips and tricks to make your Bonaire shore diving experience easier and more enjoyable? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video. And we're doing it right now. Hey folks, Liz and Kevin here at TaylorMade, the site that's well north of Bopec on the northern end of Bonaire. This is an unmarked site, just like her sister site, Candyland, and you really gotta come up here and dive these sites. They're phenomenal. They're unlike anything else you're gonna experience on Bonaire. Now these sites, TaylorMade and Candyland, are north of Bopec, which is the uh, oil docking facility here on Bonaire. It's well north. They're not easy to find, so we've made a video on how to find Taylor Made and Candyland. We'll link that right up here. So make sure you watch that first so you can safely make it here and know where the dive sites are located. Uh, it's kind of a fun drive, takes a while to get here. It's off the beaten path, it's rugged. Make sure you've got a pickup truck. Four wheel drive, if you can swing it, would be great too. But come on up here to dive Taylor Made. But that's how to find it. Let's talk about why you need to dive Taylor Made. Uh, but real quick, this is another in our series of videos on the different dive sites on Bonaire. We're going to show you the best place to enter the water, the best place to exit the water, give you the lay of the land outside of the water, as well as some navigational tips and fun information. If that sounds like something you're interested in, why not take a giant stride on that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be made aware of when we have new content for you to enjoy. But right now it's all about TaylorMade, and let me tell you, it's a beautiful site, very different. Uh, fairly similar to her sister site, Candyland, just to the south. If you like the dive site, Carpata, uh, these dive sites have been uh, called before. I've read somewhere Carpata on steroids, and that is a perfect description. The mountainous star pool and boulder coral and pillars that you can swim around in peaks and valleys. It's just a beautiful site. The architecture is very different than anywhere on the island. The plate coral, uh, just very neat and eerie. You've got to come experience this. It's worth the effort to get here. All the great marine life you're going to find here um, that you're used to seeing, rock beauties and parrotfish. Uh, you name the grunt or the snapper, you'll find it here. I've seen nurse sharks on this site as well as the sister site, Candyland. It's a beautiful site. I know Liv, Liz loves it too. So what do you what do you find here that you like to see? So the main thing that I like about these sites that are up here is the, the hard coral formations. You can see these mushroom type formations that you don't really see uh, at other places on the island. They're very cool to swim around. Um, there are a lot of nooks and crannies where you can see, we've seen several moray eel up here. Um, you'll see things hiding in there. So bring a flashlight, look around, see what's in there. Um, we have, as Kevin mentioned, we have seen a nurse shark or two near the shallows. So keep an eye out for those as well. Um, but just a ton of fish and some really great coral and just some cool formations to see. Beautiful site, folks. You've got to come dive it. We're going to share that entry and exit and give you the lay of land. So let's dive right into that part of the video and show you how to dive TaylorMade. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the lay of the land here at TaylorMade. Uh, not the most attractive markers, but here we are parked right by the tire pile and pile of rocks. We just pulled right up. It's rare you're ever going to see anyone else when you're up here. It's kind of a rugged beauty up here. The water's beautiful, but you're going to get to the water by walking down somewhat of a path or just head down the, the shifting coral slope. You've got a big boulder here. You're going to enter somewhat to the, to the right of that, but you can see out all the core you've got to navigate through. So we're gonna enter somewhere along here. It's not a perfect place. Just pick your poison, but navigate your way out and then to the left. You know, just depending on the mood, sometimes we'll enter here, go right, then left. Another nice place to enter as I shift in the sand is right over here. I like straight lines and the least amount of rocks. So if you can navigate through the slippery stuff here, you kind of have a straight shot out and you still have some boulders and things to contend with once you get out there to swim over. And put your fins on, swim out, 
Once in, just like Candyland, you need to find a good navigational mark when you're underwater so you can come back from the shallows to this same place. Um, make sure when you're down there, use your truck, use the tire piles once you're out of the blue to take a good compass heading. But then once you're down, find a good navigational marker. When you come back up, you may need to go for head it to find this exact spot. There's nothing wrong with that. But you can see to the left and to the right, you don't have a lot of opportunity uh, to get back out of the water. So just some boulders here you need to contend with. A little trickier than normal, but it is doable. Uh, it's a beautiful sight, I promise you. Let's go find Liz and she'll show us how to enter the water here. Hey folks, that's just about gonna do it here for us at TaylorMade. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If so, make sure you give it a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. Um, leave us a comment too, let us know what you think. But like I said, that's gonna wrap it up for us here. We're gonna gear up, get in, and we'll see you at the next dive site.